Hello humans, my name is Nevitz, aka the Gutter Monkey, and I am back with some more Until Dawn. Right now, um, Sam, this girl, and Josh, Mr. Robot, are, I think, heading down to the basement to the boiler room because we can't get the hot water to work. Because she wants to take a bath. And I don't think that she should be taking a bath in there because I am pretty sure that I saw in a security camera elsewhere that that bathroom was being watched so anyway I guess we're going to the boiler room anyway though it's not like we have much of a choice so <laughs> let's go and really I cannot tell what is up with this story like uh, there's so many things that aren't making sense right now that it's leading me to believe there's some huge twist involved here Likely a supernatural one, but... I mean, it almost has to be a psychological one, unless this is all just a ha occurring inside of someone's brain. Which I don't think is probably the case, but... You know, you never know. It does have kind of an identity feel to it, that movie Identity. The way we keep cutting to that shrink's office. Messages. Similarly, this could be like a flashback of one of these characters, or the killer themselves, which who may be one of these characters. If it is one of these characters, I'm going to say it's Josh there because that just seems like it, you know, he's the brother of the two girls who died, it's his house. It would make sense. Alright, let's go to the creepy boiler room. I wonder if we can get into the cinema room now. Hey. You notice how I gave Chris and Ash a mission together? Yeah, I did. Yeah, I was thinking they could use some alone time. Hmm. Not flattering. Just be nice. Chris is nice. They are very sweet together. I wish they'd just freaking get on with it already. I swear, they just need, like, something to bond over. You know, some sort of traumatic event to send them into each other's arms. I mean, at this rate, they'll be in the geriatric ward before Chris makes a move. <laughs> traumatic event? What is this guy getting to? Oh, our, our, our romantic thing went up a little talking to Josh th just then. Now, did that go up for for Josh or just because we had a romantic idea about Chris and Ashley? You know, it's probably that that romantic thing we said about Chris and Ashley, actually. I'm pretty sure we already looked at everything down here. Yeah, we looked at that. Let's try this room again. It's probably still locked. Alright, we already looked at everything else down here. Let's follow Josh. Just checking. <laughs> I just wanted to say... Uh, what? It really means a lot to me that everyone came back this year and you know that you came, Sam. Uh, let's just say we're here for you. Because I don't think you'd like to hear it's uneasy. Josh, we're here for you. Really, whatever you need. Whenever, we're all gonna make it through this, together. Um, I want us to have a good time, you know? It is uneasy though. Like not just because of the anniversary of these murders. Us not having any electricity for one is very scary. We should at least, we're teenagers. Hey, watch your step. 
I think I can handle a little old set of stairs. Mm -hmm. we're, we're at least close to teenagers. We sh you think we have music blasting. Something upbeat, maybe. My god, look at this place. Why is Josh so far away from us? Sorry to drag you down into the bow. Oh, just get me some hot water and I'll be super fine. I mean, I wouldn't want you coming down here on your own, you know? Well, it's definitely creepy down here. Yep. Not a place to be on your own. To tell you the truth, this place is surprisingly not creepy. It's more light, more lighting than the rest of the house. A baseball bat? Uh, humorous or serious? Is it yours? Baseball in the snow. Let's be humorous. Be pretty rough playing baseball out in all that snow. No, it wasn't in the winter, silly. I mean, we'd come up in the summer and we would have the best time. The whole family was there. Mom, Dad, my sisters. It was some serious competition out there on the big lawn. I don't know. Can't go back. New reality. Right, Sam? It was awkward. Anyway, I'm supposed to be fixing this whole guy, right? Here, can you can you hold this? Sure. What was that? What was what? Why you just Shine in here so I can see what I'm doing. He didn't hear that? Oh, hey, sorry. Can you just keep the light so I can see, okay? Okay. I feel like they're gonna do something to scare the hell out of me. Okay, first things first. We gotta increase the water pressure before we get the boiler fired up. Mmm, sounds kinda complicated. No, it's actually pretty simple. Am I not doing it right? Uh. Did you see that? I just saw somebody run by. What the hell is that? That could be a lot of things. None of them nice. Quit it. Yeah, stop. I'm just, just joshing you. <laughs> well, that was oh, good, but still, really stop. Prank them. Oh my God. Don't move. What? Nothing behind you. Yeah, right. Josh. Seriously. There's something back there. <laughs> Get the first point. 
Doesn't start at 30? No, 15. Oh. Yes, right. Say yes. Josh. What? The rhythm is like weirdly regular. Not, not, nothing regular about it. Oh God. Man, it feels like I should be heroic, but I'm scared. Oh my god. Man, I don't know. Hmm. I'll check it out. I'll be heroic. I'm gonna go check it out. What? Why? <laughs> you care, pretty face. No, it's, it's probably just like not anything. Uh, why don't you hold down the floor while I make sure? Whatever you say, man. God, I hope I don't regret this. I already regret it as a rat. And you know what? That that shrink made sure to know that I was afraid of rats, so... Oh, God. God damn it, Chris. What? <laughs> nice. nice one. That was good. What? But why oh. would you do that? There's all this cool old movie crap down here. What was I? Was I not supposed to take advantage of the opportunity? Are you? Are you serious? <sighs> Were you in on this, putz? <laughs> no, but I, I wish I was. That was too good. That's who I saw running earlier. <laughs> Fudge. Your dumb little prank. Joke master. Well, I, I said nothing about joke. I said your prank, which was dumb. Holy crap, you were scared. Admit it. I was not. Come on, you totally pissed yourself. Josh. I, yeah, I was. I'll admit what it. What in God's name are you wearing? I found my true calling. Mm -hmm. Please tell me you're going to take a vow of silence. <laughs> okay, okay. Did you at least find the thingy? Here's our one-way ticket to the spirit realm. Oh, my God. You know what? You know what? No, no. I've just been through enough spooking for one night, okay? I see a hot bath in my crystal ball. Mm. All right? So have fun. Oh, but watch out for that, Josh. He's a schemer. Okay. Shit. What is that? A heart? I would like to understand your feeling toward people who fear failure and worry about what others think of them. Do you share this fear? Probably. Reflected in the way you are playing your game now, is it? It's not. Right. And now, let us investigate your feelings toward other people in greater depth. What do you value? What you respect in yourself and others? Which would you say was most important in a person? Loyalty or honesty? Honesty. 
So, you would tell the truth, even if it resulted in an unpleasant outcome for a friend. And what about honesty, then? And charity? Um... Jeez. Between honesty and charity? I don't know. Those are both very good. I don't see how they're even in competition. Hmm. I'm finding this one very difficult. Uh, I value both. I don't know. I'm going to say charity maybe is what I'd likely lean toward. Such a giving and caring person. Okay. Very nice. Oh, once again, I'm afraid we're out of time. We'll talk again soon. Where are we? one-year anniversary of the dreadful tragedy of Hannah and Beth Washington, the twins who are still missing. I know it would mean so much to Hannah and Beth that we're, we're all still here together, and I'm thinking of them. Whoa, hello. Somebody's getting a little friendly. Boom. Butterfly effect. Excuse me? Did you say something? Oh, did you not hear me? Was your sluttiness... Stop it! Mike, why don't you check out the guest camp and the one I told you about? Yeah. Did you hear that? What in God's name are you wearing? Here's our one-way ticket to the spirit realm. Gonna watch out for that, Josh. He's a schemer. Well, that's how it's gonna be. Yes? <coughs> Jess? So, it says here, to communicate with the spirit world, you must free your mind of all preconceptions, drop all inhibitions, and generally give yourself over entirely to the will of others, sublimating your every desire to the whims of the spirit master, which is me. It doesn't say that. And all present will remove their garments at my sole discretion. Chris, come on, this is serious. <laughs> oh, I'm deadly serious. <laughs> oh, shush it. Let's try this. Yes, please. Okay, then. Let's see what happens. Ashley, since you're a recent convert, why don't you be Armenian for today? Um... Let's be flippant. Okay, uh... Is anyone there? Hello? Pick up the phone? Spirits? Spirit phone? Um... Abracadabra? Come on. Um... If you can hear my voice, give us a sign. Yeah, like a peace sign or a Guys, stop sign. If you're not gonna take this seriously. Okay, okay. Is anyone there? Wherever there is. <laughs> Wait a minute. Did you do that? I didn't do anything. It's moving again. <laughs> H? What's it spelling? Hold on. How's this happening? Are you moving it? I swear, it's just moving. Oh, shit. Help? How are we supposed to help? I don't know. What does it mean? We need to know who it is if we're supposed to help them. Yeah, let's see who we, if we want to help them. Who are you? Oh, here it goes. Okay, S. I. S. T. E. R. Sister. Sister? Whose sister? Oh, come on, is this for real? Shut up. Ask it whose sister. Josh, it's, it's gotta be. Yeah, okay, well, which sister is it then? Ashley, ask who it is. Um, I'm gonna say Beth. It's who I'd rather talk to between the two. Who are you speaking to? 
Beth? Is that you? Oh, God. This is messed up. Josh, are you? I'm fine. Are you sure? Because we can stop. No. Dude, it's cool. I want to hear what it says. I don't know where to start. Think about it. If, if this is actually Beth, I mean, we can find out what happened that night. Okay. Um, let me think. Let's apologize. First of all, I worry that Josh may be the one moving this because I don't believe in all the spirit nonsense. Uh, even though there's it's a good likelihood something supernatural may be going on in this game, but still. Right now, I'm going to be inclined to think it's Josh. And I think we should be apologetic toward him. It may save our life. Beth. Oh, Beth, we want to apologize for what happened last year with Hannah. And if you can hear this, please, please know that we are all so sorry. You and Hannah, we're really sorry, Beth, to both of you. H. N, N. It's spelling Hannah. Wait, it's still going. K, I. L, L. Oh my God. Killed. Guys, guys, what's she talking about? I don't know if I can keep doing this. We have to. Just, just, just stay calm. I, I think it's saying that someone killed Hannah. I don't know. I just a ask it something else. Who killed Hannah? All right. Hannah. Who was it? L I B L library. Maybe there's something in the library B here. R O O Proof. There there's there's proof. In the library. Oh my god. Holy shit. Chris. You know what? No, this is bullshit. This isn't real. Josh, I don't know what's going on. Listen, I don't know. I don't know if you think messing with me is somehow going to help me deal with my grief or whatever, but this is not cool. Josh, no. You wanted to use the spirit board. Hey, hey calm down. It's, it's not actually. I don't need fault. this right now, OK? You guys are full of it. Sh should we go after him? Ah, man, I'm, I mean, he'll be OK. Let's, let's just give him some time. I don't blame him. That was crazy. The pointer flew right off the table. I mean, if, if you were faking it, if you were doing one hell of a job. I wasn't faking anything. I think we should do what it says. We should look in the library. So we're going to find clues in the library? Yes? Oh, shoot. Yes. Man, I almost forgot all about this. And we saw a possible future for our Jess. Yes. Where did you go? This is not funny. And it said fortune. I think it was Jess. Jess. Buddy, you in there? Oh! Ah! God. Whoa! Christ! Oh. I scared the blue out of my jeans. <laughs> Jiminy oh, Cricket. There anyway. The hell. Jessica. Oh, my oh God. come on. Why would that be in there? Yes. Hun, light of my life. Okay. I totally promise I won't murder you when I. Oh, ah! Don't do oh, it. Oh my, oh my god. god. No. <laughs> that was so good. Not, no. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. You have to see this. You have to I'm see not seeing it. No. No. no, no, no. <laughs> you recorded that? <laughs> Look at your face. <laughs> 
I was scared, Jed. You can't just jump out at somebody. I'm in the middle of the woods. It's scary. I'm sorry to scare you. If we send that to anybody, <sighs> I'm what? gonna kill you. <laughs> I didn't know you had such a cute little lady like Scream, Michael. Hey, shut up. <laughs> Guess you never really know someone until you've scared the pants off of them. So be witty, no reason to be mean. She didn't mean anything by it. As far as I can tell, my pants are still on. Oh, is that so? Yeah. Looks like you have to try harder. A challenge, eh? Well, I hope you're strapped in, because you're about to feel the full force of my mind-melting thrill skills. Okay. Well, you know what? Maybe I should have been grumpy, because now she might try to scare me again and end up, you know, doing something dangerous and getting herself hurt. Okay, here we go. Guidance. Let's check it out. All right, hopefully we'll remember that. I can't believe how many times this game has scared me. Wow. Kind of like a real winter wonderland out here now. Hey girl, you know how good. I mean it has those kind of scares that you get when you uh when you click on a YouTube video and it's like a car commercial. What the hell is that? That was not a squirrel. But anyway. Town. Like when you see one of those YouTube videos, it's like a car commercial or something, and they're like, check this out. And you start watching it, you're like, what's the big deal? And you start watching through it, and then at the very end, some sort of goblin jumps up and just screams. And it scares you really hard. It's those kind of scares all throughout this thing. Like... If I had a heart condition, I couldn't play this. What? Oh god. Do you hear that? No. Hello! What? Don't. Someone there? Stop it. Don't talk to it. Let's just leave. Okay. God damn it! That thing almost killed us! Uh, funny, brave, that all went up. Our uh, relationship thing with Jess went down a little bit, but we're still in the red on that. Let's just go. Let's get out of here. God. Let's find the others. Charming. It's everything you described, Michael. Wait, what? The cabin. I love it. Yeah. How long are we staying here? I want to go back to the others. Yeah, it's beautiful. Why were you here? Oh no. That's that mask that thing keeps wearing. 
Oh my god. <laughs> no, let's show her the mask. Man, I would have enjoyed scaring her, but I don't want to set any more precedents here for, you know, getting anyone used to that mask. I don't know. Gee, that don't even, that doesn't make sense what I just said. I don't, it just seemed like a bad idea to do that. I don't even know why. I don't know what's going on. I don't understand my own feelings. I'm just scared and confused. <laughs> Let's just go somewhere else. Let's see if we see anything, uh, glinting. That's not. Oh my god! <gasps> Fuck! God! Jesus! Oh. Let's get the hell out of here! What? What is that? I'm not sure I want to know. Is that just animals? Oh my god. <laughs> oh. to it. Let's comfort it. Hey, bud. Oh hey, buddy. God, the poor thing. It's okay. It's okay. Oh. It's okay. Mike, it's in so much pain. It'll be over soon. Okay, buddy. It'll be over soon. No! Oh. Run! Run! What? Oh What? Follow the path. Stay on the path. We're almost there. Get up. Help her. Get I up! Am. What's wrong with you? Get the key! Get it open! Oh, oh my god! Oh, it's closed. What? Uh, was what that? Had it under control. What was oh. that? Oh, bullshit! No, 100%. 100%. 110%. Oh. Holy crap, I feel like I just ran a marathon. I think we kind of did. Was it a bear? Yeah, it's gotta be. Things are crazy fast. I mean, I didn't see it. Hey, things are not gonna come barging in, I promise. How can you be sure? Because I'm pretty sure bears don't know how to open cabin doors. I've seen them open car doors. What? Where? On the internet. They could probably break through it. Really? 
Okay, well, this isn't the internet, Jess, right? This is real life. And I promise you that no bear or anything else is gonna open that cabin door. I guess you're right. Okay, I'm almost feeling relaxed again. Almost. Ah. Uh. Huh, typical. Arr. This is not the cozy chalet I was promised, Mike. Yeah, it's a bit dry after or something, right? Well, there is a fireplace. Well, we don't need a fire to heat things up. Michael, I am a lady, and a lady needs a proper romantic setting. Okay. A lady would like to cuddle up with her man by a nice cozy fire bathed in atmospheric mood lighting. Right. It'll get plenty toasty once we're rubbing up against each other. Mike. Yeah. Fire and mood lighting. Yes. My lady. <sighs> mm. Oh my god. What? I don't know what just happened. It looked like the it looked like the deer just disappeared. And then we started running and I don't even know what we were running from. I didn't see anything, they just started running. Ugh. God, it's just this constant fear of the unknown, just straight through it. Anyway. Make the cabin comfortable for Jessica. Oh, we want to look at that butterfly effect. We saw it change a little bit. Rats, discretion, whose side are you on? Be her hero. We did that. Sam found a baseball bat and left it in the cellar. And left it in the cellar, so we're, we want to remember that. Mike came to Jessica's aid immediately. Jessica appreciated Mike's heroism. So that's probably from picking her up. Hmm. Okay, so the left side. Wait. Why do, they, why do these have two sides to them? Is the left side what you do and the right side the outcome? I don't know. So our goal is to make her comfortable. I don't even like her. Unless you want to make out with an ice sculpture, I suggest you get a... Shit. Fuck. Mike. What? Oh, crap. What? Where is it? What? What's wrong? Gone. It is gone, okay? Just slow down. What is gone? My freaking phone, Sherlock. You can't find it? Crap. No. I must have dropped it outside. Oh, shit. I can't lose my phone. My parents will kill me. You can always get a new one. That's like my fourth one this year. Okay, okay. Well, I'll have you look for it. It's got to be outside. Yeah, I don't think we want to go out there right now with the bear or whatever it is. <sighs> Fine. We can do without the phone. We can't get reception here anyway. Looky, looky. Who's gonna fire up some nookie? You've been dying to use that line since we got here, haven't you? Well, we can start a fire now, but I want to look around a little before we do that. Afraid to get too close to this door. I don't want to walk through it. Oh, yes. oh. Look at this. 
it a fire? No, way cooler. Uh, let's not point a gun at her. As much as I'd like that personally. Huh? How do you like me now? Oh my god. Why do guns make them go completely bonkers? <sighs> Nothing? Right. I shall never understand what we have together. Okay, let's take note of where that is. Status update. So did funny go up? It's hard to tell. I can't tell what the what's changing here. Okay, we got something else over here. Shut up. How much longer is it gonna take you? Oh my god, you brat. So entitled. Native American myths and legends. Can I flip it? Turn it over? Anything? Nothing. I can do nothing to this. Really? That seems odd. It's so cold in here right now, my tongue will get stuck to your flagpole. Uh well that's kinda hot, but still shut up. Okay, the mother bear returned. She was enraged and attacked the merchant, but he managed to escape with her cub's pelts. A mighty eagle saw this and swooped at the merchant as he ran through the trees. But a gunshot frightened the eagle away. The merchant was leaving the forest and was gleeful thinking of the money that would soon be his. His hands over that part. Uh -huh. Looks like we weren't the only ones to meet the friendly neighborhood terror bears. That does not make me feel any better. Native American signs and symbols. Native American hunters used symbols and signs scratched on to trees or daubed on to walls to communicate with other tribe members. Many symbols conveyed religious or, myth or mystical... I have lost my place. Religious or mystical, mystical beliefs. Others warned of danger or offered protection, and some told of good hunting grounds. Most symbols were specific to the tribe that used it, and would be unrecognizable to other tribes. Shown below and opposite are some symbols used by tribes in North America and Canada. I wish they had like a read button in normal text here. I mean, I know you can press R1 and do it, but I have a lot of extra work. A vision or dream of the future. Because it's a butterfly, that shape right there. I didn't think about that until just now. A ward or spell protecting against evil spirits. Okay. Is that it? Just two pages. Okay. Check around a little more, then we'll light the fire. Nope, all well, set. Nice. This will lighten up the mood a little. Oh! Ah! Hey, why are you okay? What are you doing? It's the lights. I know it's the lights, dummy. You broke them. I did? Uh, it's probably faulty wiring or something. You've got faulty wiring. What do you mean I broke the lights? The bulbs? Looks like it's still going to me. The lights were already off.
I don't know what's going on ever here on this game. Clue found tennis photo. Is that Hannah? Hannah winning bronze. Alberta Invitational. 2013. 2013 was a busy year for her. What's this? Kama Sutra? <laughs> oh, hell yeah. <laughs> These guys were inventive. Whoa. I'm not sure if I'm ready for such advanced levels of game play. It's not so advanced. Wonder who that belonged to. I don't think it was Hannah's. He didn't really seem the type. <laughs> oh man. You know we're going to pull back that curtain and something terrifying is going to be back there. I don't even want to do it. That wasn't so bad. What do you think was in there, Mike? Come on. <sighs> we have had so much worse. That was really nothing compared to everything else. Well, I think we've pretty much exhausted everything. Don't see anything else we could search. Alright, I guess it's time for this fi I'm kind of nervous about lighting this fire, though, because one of those totems we looked at... Oh my god, one of those totems we looked at... It looked like it might have been in this room. But that didn't look like Jess in it. It looked like Emily. Huh. Ah, this will take care of the mood lighting. Yeah, I much prefer that over the fireplace. I really don't want to light this. Do I have to? Uh, I don't want to do this. I've got such a bad, 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 bad feeling about this. Man one, fire zero. Very nice. Bravo. All right, my lady. What comes next? What do you mean, who? I think... Well, I, I wish we had some booze. Uh, well, uh, if I'd have known that ahead of time. I don't know, I'm, I'm kind of just, I'm not feeling it. That's yet. fine. Just say what's wrong, because once you have sex on a slasher movie, you're dead. So we shouldn't do that. Am I doing something wrong? No, 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 no. I mean, I thought you were one way, but you're kind of another way. Does if that make sense? It's, it's not your fault. Uh, Jess? Oh, well, she doesn't want me. I really like you. Whoever you think I am, well, 
Just give me a chance, and I will show you what you need. Well, I am liking your confidence. I don't want you either. Mike, the shutters. What about them? Um, close them, please? <laughs> There's just no one out there. I feel like someone's watching us. I don't like it. Yes, really. It's fine. <laughs> I really don't like it. Okay, shutter it is. I don't want to go to that window, but I do agree that I want that shut. Ugh. Can you please close the shutters? Please? I'm going. Let's do it. Quick. 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 Okay, let's shut. Uh -huh. Shutters are shut it. Now, where were we? The, the door, you can still... I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I think... I'm a little freaked out, and it's hard for me to, like, keep this up, and... What? Keep, keep what up? Look, I act all super confident and like a total sexy babe and everything, but underneath, I gotta be honest, I'm really kind of insecure. Uh... Okay, the word reassuring sounds better, but then what he says under it, you're super hot, doesn't. The word dismissive sounds bad, but sounds complicated sounds right. What? I don't... I'm going with dismissive. I know that's a weird choice, but that's what I'm going with. scaredy cat little girl BS. Uh, it's true. <laughs> Sounds complicated. Well, maybe I'm complicated. Great. What? I thought you were a, a... I thought you were a what you see is what you get sort of girl. What's that supposed to mean? That I'm easy? No, no. Huh, well, I mean... <laughs> yeah. Just that you're not complicated. <laughs> Michael. You're kind of a dick, you know that? Part of me wishes you weren't so cute. And the other part? Come here. Maybe I know how to handle you too. I am definitely ready to be handled. We shouldn't do it. Oh God. What? We shouldn't be doing this. We're going to die. something awful oh my god oh my god <laughs> I know this is a really bad time but I'm out of time <laughs> I have to end it here <laughs> but I'll be back next time I would be your monkey man, mama. Just can't climb no coconut tree. I would be your monkey man, mama. Just can't climb no coconut tree. Claws ain't sharp enough. My claws ain't sharp enough. I break down with you dizzy males, but I don't get on my happy black knees.